19, Golden Gate. Golden Gate, PT 19, go ahead. Golden Gate, PTD 19 copies. I'll be in route. Whether calling 911 or listening to an emergency radio, have you ever wondered who the voices behind the call are and what they do? If the answer is yes, good. Because today we're going to meet the dispatchers at the California Highway Patrol Golden Gate Communication Center. Hey, I'm Officer Ball with the California High Patrol Headquarters Recruitment Unit, and today I'm inside the Golden Gate Communication Center. You know, when you call 911... And is, are you blocking traffic or on the shoulder? A lot of those calls come to one of our 24 communication centers. 911 emergency, what are you reporting? Across the state of California. So come along with me, and let's learn about what it takes to be the voice of the CHP. I'm here with our public safety dispatcher, Dave Vandergriff. Hello. Got a couple questions for you, Dave, if you okay. don't mind. What is a CHP dispatcher? A CHP dispatcher is the Swiss Army knife of the CHP. We do a little bit of everything that you can think of. We dispatch units to calls. 911 emergency, what are reporting? We answer 911 calls. Uh, what's the color and type of vehicle? We answer calls on public non-emergency lines. We also take calls from the allied agencies. We can get calls from just about anywhere. It sounds like you guys can be pretty darn busy, huh? Yeah, uh, very. Dave, your workstation's got a lot going on. I'm already confused. Can you help me out? Yes, it is. It's, it's a whirlwind of uh, screens here. Uh, this is my phone screen. These are all of our uh, speed dials. When you're busy, you don't have time to sure. long dial a, a full 10 digit phone. This is all the CHP offices throughout the state of California. All of the units that I have dispatching right now, mm -hmm. okay. these are all the calls that they're assigned to. If I had calls waiting, they'd be popping up here. I've got my map here. Once you get into it, it just becomes second nature. Sure, I can see that happening. Hey, I'm here with uh, Carmen D with Golden Gate Communication Center. She's got a lot of information to share with us, so I'll, uh, I'll start out with this. How long have you been dispatching with CHP? I've been dispatching with CHP for nine years. And have you worked all that here at Golden Gate? No, I started in Los Angeles for two years and then went to Sacramento, and then I've been at Golden Gate here for six years. Wow, okay, so you got a pretty diverse you know, background as far as uh, being a dispatcher for the department and something else to mention is this the fact that um, you're an example of someone who can use the chp to transfer from one office to the next right yes what did you do before uh, before this i actually worked at a coffee shop uh, it actually prepared me being a barista for being a dispatcher because customer interaction as well as multitasking, a lot of multitasking going on in a coffee shop, especially in the mornings. Right, it's a very fast-paced environment. Exactly. What are some qualities you're looking for in a, a good CHP dispatcher slash public safety operator uh, candidate? Somebody that remains calm under pressure, resilient, somebody that's patient, somebody that's upbeat, positive. Again, because we deal with a lot of tough calls in here, but the ability to remain positive uh, helps you get through. I'm here with one of our public safety dispatchers, Jessica. Thank you for having me at your uh, dispatch center. Thank you for being here. What's the most rewarding part of the job for you? It's to be of service to the community. We're the link between the community and our officers, and a lot of what we do, the officers depend on, and their safety and the community depends on it. It all starts with us as the point of contact for somebody who calls 911. So we always answer the call. Uh, first, first point of contact and anyone in an emergency or crisis situation. And from there, we relay all the information to our officers so they can get help started right away. I'm here with Marcy. She's one of our public safety dispatchers here at Golden Gate Communication Center. Thank you for having me here. Absolutely. So you take new dispatchers and train them up, right? Yes. You're part of their training program. So what would make a good dispatcher applicant? What makes a good candidate for becoming a, a dispatcher? A good multitasker, fast typer, and a good listener. If someone wants to be a public safety dispatcher or a public safety operator for CHP, where can they go to apply? They can go to chpbethevoice.com. Exit 37, 10 to mile of an hour, and it's uh, passing a red light at 8 and uh, Harrison. Light traffic. 3281 on Harrison, approaching 10th, number one lane. Actually, both of them are out the window right now, so it is occupied by two. Here 37, passenger and driver hands are out the window, occupied by at least two. Door is open, they're calling it back. Here 37, door is open, they're calling the driver back. He's compliant, and moving back to him. Here 37, driver is compliant, moving back towards them. Making contact with the driver. Air 37, they're making contact with the driver. Where's the team? You start working on 1185 for this. 
Air 37, driver detained. Start working on 1185. Passenger door is coming open. Air 37, passenger door is coming open. Passenger is coming back, compliant. Air 37, passenger is coming back, compliant. Contact with the passenger. Air 37, making contact with the passenger. They're clearing the vehicle now. Air 37, passenger is detained and they're clearing the vehicle now. Vehicle's clear, you can clear it. 498. Air 37, vehicle is clear, clear the tone. That was quite the pursuit. Yeah, that was a long one. Do you remember what the original want for the car was? Yes, it was a stolen vehicle. Pursuit actually started from one of our allied agencies. The vehicle was spiked and the tires were flattened. It eventually actually ended up crossing the Bay Bridge where our San Francisco CHP got behind it. That's where I took it over once it crossed the Patrol Plaza. It was on three flat tires driving on the rims and sparking and eventually came to a stop. Pretty cool for me to see this from the other perspective, your, your side, you know. Thank you. Multitasking, typing super fast. Good job. I want to give you knuckles. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. You're super rad. Thank you very much. I really love this job though, man. Like, it's cool. <laughs> well, this is going to be it for us here at Golden Gate Communication Center. Watching all kind of calls be handled. 911 calls, these calls getting dispatched to the officers. I think you've gotten to see pretty much a big picture of what goes on here at one of our communication centers in California. And we're hiring big right now. This is an excellent job, great benefits. You can go to chpbethevoice.com to begin your application process and get yourself involved. There's not very many professions out there that I can think of where you can pick up the phone and help someone out multiple times a day. That's what these people in here are doing. Every day they come into work. They know they leave helping people. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.